In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to use the DSD ruler so you can measure teeth using your photographs. So DSD stands for Digital Smile Design, uh, and they I think they created uh, these tools, these little rulers, these PNG files, basically. Uh, you might have seen these on people's like Instagram cases or uh, the communication to technicians. It's a really great tool because when you're communicating with technicians, you can actually put that ruler up against an image and say, hey, my tooth is six millimeters. Uh, can you see that I want four millimeters added on? It'll make more sense a little bit later in this video when I show you how to actually put the ruler using Keynote. I think you can use PowerPoint as well. The way I show it, is using Keynote, but I'm pretty sure my colleagues use PowerPoint uh, do you get success with it as well. Hey guys, quick little video because some of you asked about how to use the DSD ruler. That's a digital smile design ruler. Super easy, let me show you, okay? So I've got my uh, lovely assistant model today, Zoe. Zoe, say hi. Hi. <laughs> I always grow for into doing things for me, okay? So we're gonna get some retractors in. I'm gonna set my camera to, uh, it's a crop sensor, it's a 90D Canon. So go to, uh, three to one magnification ratio, like you would do for a frontal photo, right? So, okay, so I've got the photo that I want. And now for you guys, I'm gonna show you with a ruler, how many millimeters it is. So with a ruler, I'm gonna show you how many millimeters it is. I'm just gonna use my uh, range of motion scale, which I usually use for like my mouth opening and TMD uh, appointments. Okay, so now I have uh, a ruler on there as well. We can see that the tooth is five, six, seven millimeters, upper right one. So now let's see what it's like with the DSD ruler on Keynote, and I'll show you how to do that. And let's see how accurate is the DSD ruler. Zoe, thank you so much. Okay, so I took Zoe's photo with that uh, crappy little white range of motion ruler, and I figured out, okay, this is really not an accurate ruler. Uh, and so when you're measuring using that ruler with the DSD ruler, I was like, mm, is this really accurate or not? So then I got my buddy John in, and this is a photo of John's teeth with a metal ruler, which is super accurate. It's like an endo ruler, right? So there we are. It's got the metal ruler there. Uh, and as you can see, once I uh, drag and drop the photo, which is, rem remember, was taking a three to one magnification ratio on a crop sensor camera, uh, I use a Canon 90D. So three to one, I'm, I'm that a fixed distance away. I take my photo uh, and now I just import that photo into Keynote. Now, really important, I don't resize that image, okay? It's just drag and drop onto Keynote. I can position it, but I don't change the size of the photo at all. Now I'm gonna also import the uh, DSD ruler. So I've now imported the DSD ruler onto Keynote. Uh, and now, as you can see, I'm just orientating a little bit to make it sort of parallel to ruler. And look at the magic over here. As I drag it up, you can see that when we measure it up against the ruler, it is pretty much 98% accurate. So this is really cool that when you take a photo at three to one mag and maybe you think, oh, I wish I'd measured how tall the teeth were, then actually you can just use this tool digitally to retrospectively measure the length of your tooth. So you can see how useful this would be in a lab communication. Uh, maybe when you're going up, when you're going north, i.e. you want to do some crown lengthening surgery or, or uh, gingivectomy and you want to put the ruler upwards so to tell the lab, hey, I'm going a couple of millimeters uh, up. Or if you're lengthening the teeth, then you can add the ruler or, on the incisor ledge to give the lab a bit of a guide. So it's quite a useful tool. Now, if you don't have these images, a whole uh, other bunch of images that come along with it that are also also just as useful as the ruler. If you need it, head over to protrusive.co.uk forward slash ruler. Okay, so protrusive.co.uk forward slash ruler and you'll be able to download the entire set of uh, images that I have that you can use for keynotes. So all credit to DSD, it, it belongs to them, uh, but I know that dentists share this with each other. So you can download it on that website uh, and you can start using it straight away. Hope you found that video useful and do hit that subscribe button if you did so you can stay tuned for future videos.